So yesterday I posted this picture on my personal page story and it got a few responses. How do you know or do you really know Slick Woods? And the answer is a yes and no. So this story is a quick one I want to tell because it's very interesting to put some context behind why me and her ended up on FaceTime, right? So in 2018, the fruition of my segment called News or Forget Next Week, where I wondered why the Twitter community especially, why they decided to dissect and take apart every person's life or what they said in the past to really just try to cancel them. So I dove deep into the world of cancel culture and the culture where people can sit behind their screens and say anything they want to a certain celebrity because they know they can't get punched in the mouth. So basically, she got pregnant at that time and was a model for Rihanna's Fenty brand. And the internet went crazy about this specific model. Why was she the one to have this deal and even get pregnant? Because they were the ones that were calling her U-L-G-Y, you ain't got an alibi. She is not ugly, she's so beautiful. But my video that was made was taking tweets that other people wrote and just reacting to them. And I titled the title with a very clickbaity title, Slick Woods is Ugly, exclamation mark, question mark, exclamation mark. And I really wanted to just dive deep onto why we care about these things, basic fact of who's getting pregnant. So at that time, her name was trending, she was viral, so I'm sure she was looking up things about herself and she came across my video somehow shortly after the video was posted a few days went by and i got this dm oh no. Oh no. she said she watched the whole thing but the beginning pissed her off what i was interpreting was that wow this is really cool but she was not too happy about that at all she said when she first saw the video she actually was going to send some goons to off me Yes, that's right, to kill me. She said she was gonna set some good ones for me for going on YouTube and saying these type of crazy things. But as the video went on, she saw that I was really defending her and putting my sarcasm to the whole notion of why people are going in on this woman that they don't even know because she has a better lifestyle than they ever could have. So after all was said and done, we had about a 15 minute conversation. I told her what this mission meant to me of news or forget next week and how clickbait is so powerful and she agreed we laughed it off i still have her phone number till this day that is the story of how i got on facetime with slick woods and the origin story of news or forget next week why i still continue that segment to this day the drama is what gives me my clickbait titles and I, we just have so much fun with those videos i enjoy making them so thank you slick woods for watching the video in full reaching out to me about it and uh, having a conversation you know what i'm saying and i got a lot of her side about how she feels being in this spotlight at this moment so y'all that's that peace